so I figured we'd do another video today. Um, one talking about long tube headers versus short tube headers. Um, and just to kind of clarify a few things for people. Most vehicles, well-built short tubes versus well-built long tubes, the long tubes normally will make more power. The long tubes make more power in the mid to high range, where the short tubes make more power low end to mid range. So, on Chevy Silverados, Camaros, literally Challengers, Chargers, pretty much everything out there for a common vehicle for headers, long tubes have the best overall power for most of what people are doing. Now, if you have a stockish vehicle, you want a little bit extra power, you don't want to get rid of your cats, you want to have to not need a tune or barely need a tune, short tube headers are the way to go. They'll give you a little bit of a gain. Uh, you get a little bit better sound. Um, and it's, a lot of times they'll keep you in the restrictions of the law for emissions and whatnot. Um, you know, it, it's, I guess it's, it's basically, if you were building something for power, long tubes are always the way to go. If you just have a Dodge Ram, you're like, you know what, I just want a little bit of power, I want a little bit of sound, but I don't want to get a tune, I don't want to have to mess with this and mess with that. Get a good set of well-built shorty headers that are made to bolt up to factory flanges because then you just unbolt your manifolds, bolt the headers in, and then you go, done, over with. Now, you want anywhere from 10 to 20 horsepower, most vehicles, you need long tube headers. Long tube headers generate the best sound and they typically generate the best power. Uh, now, with that being said, some vehicles, that's not always true. And I can't think of any on the top of my head, but some vehicles, that's not always true. At the end of the day, long tube versus short tube, almost every vehicle will benefit more from long tube headers versus the short tube headers. Uh, but like I said, shorties are more for people who have a daily where they don't need a lot of stuff done to it, have a daily where they just want a little bit of an oomph but don't need anything crazy, they just want a little bit of sound, whatever, shorties is the best way to go. So I guess that kind of leaves it up to you for what you want, but if you're building a car for power, you're probably going to want to go with long tubes, especially if it's if you're going to be racing it or any high RPMs or anything like that. Uh, you got a little a truck where you want to make it pull a little bit better, you're probably a little better off with the shorties. Um, now, don't confuse a Doug Thorley, whatever, Tri-Y with shorties or long tubes because technically a well-built version of his headers it will probably make more power on, on the spectrum all the way across than long tubes and short tubes. Uh, but, you know, that's for another discussion. So, Charger, Challenger, Camaro, Silverado, Ram, Corvette, GA, GTO, I mean, we could go all day. Uh, long tube headers is the best way to go. Um, with that being said, you know, my Hellcat, I left my shorty SRT headers on there, and a lot of people do. I don't think you get enough benefit to go from your shorty SRT headers on a Hellcat to a long tube headers. I uh, personally, my recommendation is you just do a cat delete and move on to the next mod. You know, you go to long tubes, and I was 800 wheel horse. Now, if you're like a thousand wheel horse and you, you're really itching to, to climb a couple horsepower here and there, yeah, long tube headers is the way to go. So, uh, I guess I don't know if this video really told you anything, uh, but you know, the decision is yours. Uh, I guess give you just to give you the facts. You know, long tube headers. Uh, the exhaust gases have a longer time of traveling down the pipe before they merge together. Typically, it also means your exhaust gas has more velocity. So, end of the day, pick the long tubes. 